Well, that was the London Marathon, and I've got to say, that was sublime. It's taken me a couple of weeks to really gather my thoughts and summarize everything that's occurred in such a busy week. But all I can say is, you need to make sure that even if you're not running the London Marathon in your lifetime, you go down and experience what it's like if you have the opportunity to do so, because it is amazing. Let's get started. First things first, my actual London Marathon experience this year began on a Thursday, so I was very lucky. I was invited by BBC London to go down to Broadcasting House to discuss how athletes and how novices can prepare for the London Marathon at such short notice. So the last real things that they should be addressing. And it was a round table, myself, uh, a doctor and a podiatrist, and obviously the great team, Sonny and Shay, at BBC London. And we basically discussed some of the mindset tips, some of the nutritional tips, and basically some of those last minute things that can help you get through the whole 26.2 miles. Go down to Broadcasting House, it was exciting, and I loved every moment of it. Jumped back on the train and headed straight back up to Birmingham because I was gonna be back in London on the Saturday preparing my athlete ready for their run. It's Saturday morning, Kate and I jump straight on the 8 a.m. train right down to London and it's time to get ourselves set up really for a big weekend ahead of us. For the first time in a few years, I only had one person actually competing at London. That doesn't take anything away from our preparations though because Lee and I have been working together for a, quite a while now, focusing on the London Marathon. This is the target for the whole year. Obviously, the London Marathon is pretty much the most well-known event in England, if not in the world of running. So being able to compete at the London Marathon, even within the masses group, is a phenomenal achievement. And Lee was one of those 50,000 who managed to grab a space. Lee had a big target. Last year, he competed at the Manchester Marathon and we ran a PB. He clocked a 3.30 marathon time. But this year, at the London Marathon, wanted to clock a PB and we were aiming for 3.15. It had a fantastic training period and just a few weeks out, things have started arising and this is pretty normal for the marathon. If you think the marathon is 26.2 miles, the first thought that comes into everyone's head is the aerobic conditioning. But actually, when things get further and further in volume and distance, we have to think how's the body going to react? So a key element of this is strength and conditioning, loads of mobility, but also making yourself really strong in the gym. Now don't kind of, Think of the gym as being bodybuilder work, although some of those exercises are similar. We need to be really running specific, thinking about movement patterns and how we can make athletes stronger, but not necessarily heavier. Just about making them more resilient to, to training. They had a fantastic taper as well. The last seven to 10 days heading into the race was all about managing load, getting him used to a little bit of speed, and then making sure he managed any little niggles that he has. Contrary to, to what many people believe, most elite athlete runners are carrying something at some point. You're never injury free. You need to make sure though that you're not overcoming any injuries. You're not uh, battling an injury to succeed in your run because things will get very, very difficult. And also the psychological aspect of it. The psychological aspect of do I feel great? Is something gonna bother me? Is a big, big problem. Lee back at Manchester, had a cramping episode at 32K, and this was obviously gonna be playing on his mind at London at 32K, is it going to happen? I was very fortunate, I knew exactly where to stand, I knew exactly where to support him, and that was gonna help us as we get through to race day, but race day hasn't arrived, it's Saturday, I've just got to my hotel, just actually lying back on, on the bed in Shoreditch when the phone rings, and it's BBC. BBC Five Live had given me a call and they said they wanted to speak to uh, me about the performance mindset, how things are gonna be affecting our runners' nerves on the morning. And they wanted me to go and join them on the live show, 8 a.m. just before the marathon kicked off. Who am I to say no? I'm not gonna say no, I'm gonna say yes. So I basically spent the next couple of hours preparing what I was gonna discuss with the team at BBC Five Live. And it was a really, really awesome experience being able to, to be part of the London Marathon with the real media team. And, and I've got to say, it was just a really fun and enjoyable experience. 15 minutes on the radio discussing mindset. And if you haven't seen that, you need to go and check out our podcast and our, our video on YouTube because it's gonna help anyone, any of you guys who are running a marathon or a race or competing. It will help you because it's about putting your mind in the right place to succeed.
Anyway, fast forward and we're at the London Marathon itself. It's race time. We've got our location, finished my interview, grabbed some croissants because I'm not competing. So not only our masses and the elites going, which by the way, Safan Hassan, we saw her like in 15th, 16th place and thought, wow, that's quite an achievement on the first marathon. And then about 45 minutes later, saw her going towards the finish line. We're like, she's in first. How is this possible? Amazing. But that's not for, for me to discuss right now. We saw Mo, we saw loads of these athletes that we recognized and we were cheering them on. There was four of us at the place. And then time kept ticking by. We'd seen Lee come through at the halfway point, but his tracker went off and I was thinking, oh no, what has happened? And then suddenly everything being back on and he was right on race pace. He was heading through for that 315 milestone mark. And when he came back through, he looked strong. He looked better than I had seen on his way out. And I was incredibly proud to see him running. He was charging up towards the finish line. He'd used all of his gels. He'd focused on the carb loading, the nutrition that we had worked towards race day. He put all of that together so on race day, he actually came through with a personal best, a 15 minute personal best, clocking three hours, 14 minutes and 51 seconds. Hallelujah. What an achievement, Lee. Well done to you. You know how proud I am. We even saw people like Perry Shakes Drayton, you know, when she was walking, we were really roaring for her. She, she looked at us, gave us a thumbs up, said thank you on social media and got running. And it's those moments, seeing your heroes, seeing the masses of people who are just participating, seeing the people raising money, seeing the camaraderie, because the guys with the keg, they lent my wife the seat to use during the marathon event. Everything came together and then it was tipped off, tipped off, topped off with Lee smashing his personal best on the occasion. And what has this done? Well, the London Marathon didn't just create all of those opportunities and those lovely memories, but it's also meant that I've actually entered the London Marathon ballot. We know the chances of getting a place are very, very slim, but it was more of just a kind of game of chicken with my wife of whether I'd go for it. But being able to feature so heavily with the BBC on the weekend, I think I was in about three different magazines and newspapers, all talking about the London Marathon. The buzz was there and it was a great, great experience. I can't wait to train more people. So if you're looking to work your way towards London, Berlin, Boston, whatever the race is, however big or small, you know we can help you. Go to performancephysique.co.uk forward slash running hyphen coach, or just go to Performance Physique and we'll help you. We will build you a physiologically sound running program. We'll coach you all the way through to make sure that you can hit your goals. We've done it with so many people now. I'm looking for someone to run in Tokyo. I haven't had anyone run Tokyo. I haven't had anyone run Boston yet. So let's tick those off. I'll help you get there. You help me tick those off and I'll be speaking to you very soon. Take care everyone, keep running and make sure you hit the subscribe button.